Hello, family. Shalom. Hey, I just want to touch on a few more points about the black tribes that we mentioned about in our uh, previous videos uh, in the Black Sea, uh, in Abkhazia. They call them the Black Abkhazians. And also about uh, Noah's Ark. Just wanted to touch on a few more points uh, that I was not able to uh, get into the other videos. So I want to share some more thoughts with you, friends, to help us appreciate a little bit more about the um, possibilities that we need to stretch our mind instead of thinking about the way that we were taught in school, have a little bit more information that we want to share with you. So let me share some of that with you, friends, and uh, see if you can get a little bit more grasp of what I'm trying to share with you here. And we know that the arc was very huge. Here's a model scale of it here. That's how big it was. All right, but let's share some thoughts here uh, about Herodotus, the Greek historian, what he said. So in my book, Three Brothers, 1626, in chapter two of my book, I mentioned about uh, the Abkhazian tribe there, that black tribe, and also about uh, Herodotus, the Greek historian, and uh, what his thoughts were about the, uh, the Colchians. Um, he thought that they were an ancient Egyptian race, so you can uh, Google up his uh, comment uh, that he meant, or if you have a copy of the book, you can read that. But he mentioned that um, Herodotus, he, uh, he lived in the 5th century BCE. He was born in, um, uh, let's see here, he was born in the year 484 in um, Turkey, which at that time was under the Persian Empire. And then he died in the year 425 BCE, either in Italy or in Macedonia. But at any rate, he made these comments here in the 5th century BCE. And uh, again, like I said, you could Google this up. It's uh, very well, uh, uh, you can find it pretty easily. But if you have a copy of my book, you can read that in chapter 2. So anyway, he was saying that the Colchians or this black tribe, that they were Egyptians. And that may very well be. Uh, because there was a lot of migration going on by the time of the 5th century B.C. There was a lot of migration going on. And also, too, in Chapter 3 of my book, um, there's a couple of uh, uh, myths that this black tribe has. I'll share with you in a minute. But there was something else in Chapter 3 that was very interesting. There was a research project. It was published in the European Journal of Human Genetics, Volume 24, published in 2015, and it was entitled Genetic Re Evidence for an Origin of the Armenians from the Bronze Age Mixing of Multiple Populations. It went on to say that while testing for Armenian genetic mixture relationship to worldwide populations, the studies show that the oldest mixture events appeared to be between populations related to sub-Saharan Africans and West Europeans. So did you get that? The oldest mixture events that appeared were between populations related to sub-Saharan Africans and West Europeans and which occurred around 3800 BCE. This was well before the slave trade began. It's interesting how you I read all these different articles about this black tribe in Abkhazia, and they all seem to attribute it to slavery, the slave trade, the Ottoman Empire. Slaves were brought in. They never seem to, to think of any other reason as to how a black tribe could speak Russian and be in Abkhazia for all these hundreds of years. And actually, I'm trying to say they were even further back, even before Herodotus mentioned about them. Because Moses wrote about something that's very interesting, too. But I'm going to get back to this evidence genetic study in 2015 in a minute here. But let me just share something else with you, friends. Like I said, Herodotus made his comments there in the 5th century B.C. But we think about Moses. Moses also wrote about the land of Cush, remember? And about the mountains of Ararat that Noah's Ark rested on that. And when did Moses write the book of Genesis? Well, that was in the 16th century BCE. Hundreds of years before Herodotus, Herodotus 
made his comment. And so we see here in Genesis chapter 2, this is in English and in uh, Hebrew, as you can see here, he talks about the mountains of Ararat that the ark rested on. On the mountains of Ararat. So, that is what Moses wrote there. And that is the uh, information that we have. But let's continue on. So here's a map here of a uh, modern day map. We have uh, Cairo, Egypt here. So Africa. We have Turkey. We have Armenia. The Armenian highlands up in here. We have the Black Sea. Who is to say, friend, here's Israel here. Who is to say that Africa didn't extend all the way up here during the time of the ark resting on the mountains in Ar the Armenian highlands? Who is to say that the ark, uh, that the uh, that Africa may have extended way up in here? Um, we talk about how Africa might have extended into, as they call it, the Middle East or Near East, Israel area. We know that the Africans lived in this area here around Israel and Canaan, Damascus, Iraq area. So who's to say that it did not even go up here a little bit more? Here's another map also to give you another view of it here. Here's the greater Armenia. Here's the Ararat mountainous areas here. Here's Lake Van where the Tigris River and the Euphrates River go. Here's the Mediterranean Sea over here. So again, who is to say that possibly Africa might have even extended up in here? So we have to keep put on our thinking caps, not go by the history that we were taught in school, but look at the other history that they don't want to talk about. They want to talk about slavery, but they don't want to talk about the other uh, facts that are coming out. So here's this European Journal of Human Genetics that I was talking about on the website. And if you go down... It talks about how the oldest mixture events appear to be between populations related to sub-Saharan Africans and West Europeans, Europeans occurring 3800 BCE. But then the article goes on to mention this. It says, we investigated Armenians further by inferring their admixture history. The Armenians show signatures of an origin from a mixture of diverse populations occurring from 3000 to 2000 BCE. And again, these are inferences, these are estimates, so they're not written in stone, but it gives us an idea. So between 3000 to 2000 BC. So now the question is, when did Noah's, when did the flood occur? The global flood occur? So let's find out about that. Uh, excuse me. Uh, some say it occurred in 2348, some say 2304. Here's another one that says it occurred in 2370. But there is a legend that there was a great storm 